Hello everyone. In this video we will configure Node MCU microcontroller to connect to our home network and enable its web server functionality. The goal of this video is to utilize Node MCU's web server feature in order to create web user interface to access and control different devices connected to Node MCU board. Using web server feature you can replace physical displays and buttons and create web interface for controlling your projects built upon Node MCU boards. With this in mind you can control Node MCU from any device with web browser connected to the same network. You can attach sensors, lights and motors to Node MCU and then build web interface to access data or control anything attached to Node MCU board. Primary devices to be used with this interface are mobile phones and we will build web interface best suited for use on mobile device. Also main requirements are to keep it simple, easily adaptable and customizable. This video will show how to make basic configuration and structure and in next video you will see detailed overview of web interface implementation. Also one note before proceeding. I'm using Arduino IDE for Node MCU programming. In order to use Arduino IDE with Node MCU boards, you will first need to configure it. If you haven't done that already, please search Google for tutorials how to enable support for Node MCU in Arduino IDE. There are plenty of tutorials on the internet. Just one note before proceeding, all the code and links are in the description of the video. Ok, now let's go to Node MCU sketch. We're gonna need two headers, ESP8266 Wi-Fi and ESP8266 web server. Then we declare two constants, array of characters, first named SSID which will hold the name of the network our board will connect to and the second named password which will hold password for this network. We will configure Node MCU board to use static IP address configuration, so we can always access it on the same IP address within our local network. For this we need to declare three objects of type IP address. IP will hold actual IP address we want to assign to Node MCU board. Gateway will hold IP address of our home router. And subnet will hold standard subnet mask for local networks 255.255.255.0. We will use these IP addresses later to configure Node MCU to use static IP address. Next we declare ESP8266 web server type of object, simply named server and pass it argument of 80. This number represents port number our server will listen to for incoming requests. 80 is the default HTTP port number and whenever you enter IP address of Node MCU board in web browser, server object will automatically handle request. Next is the setup function. Here we configure Wi-Fi object for our network. First we call soft AP disconnect method on Wi-Fi object and set it to true. This will disable any AP or access point functionality previously used by the board. Then we call mode method and set it to Wi-Fi underscore STA which sets Wi-Fi mode of operation to station mode. And we also call disconnect method on Wi-Fi object to clear any previous connections. These three lines are very important as they ensure stable operation without issues. Next we call config method on Wi-Fi object which will set our connection to static IP configuration. This method takes four arguments. First is desired IP address for our board. Second is the IP address of gateway in most cases IP address of wireless router. Then it takes subnet mask and finally last argument is in fact a DNS IP address which in most cases is the same address as wireless router so we put gateway here once more. Also one note you need to adjust these IP addresses which we declared earlier to match your network settings and configuration so please adjust them according to your needs. And finally we begin establishing connection calling begin method on Wi-Fi object and passing it two arguments, SSID and password. 
Establishing connection can take a few seconds, so we put loop here, which checks the status of Wi-Fi object. While connection is not established, delay by half a second and check status again. This ensures that connection is established before starting web server or executing loop function. Next we call begin method on our server object which will start web server services. Also in setup function we need to define web server handles. This is done by calling on method on server object and passing two arguments. First is something like URL in web terminology which is actually web page user requests. In this case forward slash represents a root of our web server so whenever you enter only IP address of node MCU board in your web browser this tells server to call some function. The name of the function which will be called is second argument for on method. So handle root is the name of the function which needs to be executed each time user requests root web page and this function is declared later in the code. So to finish setup function we add a little delay of 2 seconds just to settle everything in. Then follows loop function which checks server object for any incoming client requests by calling handle client method. So if there is any request server object will look through all defined handles and if there is a match it will call designated function for specified request. And just for a sake of stability we add a little delay of 50 milliseconds between checking for client requests. And now we come to our handle root function which is called each time client requests root web page on node MCU. It just calls send method on server object and takes three arguments. First number 200 which is HTTP status in this case OK. Second argument is type of content we are sending to client in this case text HTML content and last parameter needs to be string and this is actual HTML web page you will send to the user. In this case the last parameter simply calls another function get default page defined right below which is of type string and returns string value. We could put our entire web page in handle root function but in some useful program like switching on and off light. You would need to define in setup function one handle for switching on light and another handle for switching off. And if you are using one web page to track and adjust settings, it will be the same page for all handles. So all handles would call for same page and it's easier to maintain code if it's all in one place. That's why we construct separate function which returns our web page. Get default page is function of type string and it returns string variable named page. It's just an empty string for now, but in next segment we will create extremely simple web page and place it here so we can see that it works. Now we will create very simple web page just to test it and explain process of embedding HTML code into Node MCU sketch. I will be using Visual Studio Code application which is lightweight code editor. You can use any HTML or code editor you like for creating HTML pages even Windows Notepad if it suits you. In code editor click new file and then file save as. I will save this file to desktop and name it defaultpage.html. Now editor knows we work with HTML so it can highlight and organize parts of code. First we use doc type tag to identify HTML type of document. Then follows the main HTML opening and closing tags. This represents the whole HTML page. HTML tag is the parent tag to all other content in document. Each HTML web page consists of two elements, header and body. So inside main HTML tag we add opening and closing head tag which will hold some information for browser needs like encoding or additional files to use when showing web page to user. Second element is body element which is actual content user will see. This is where we put elements to show to user. And this is the minimal basic structure for working web page. Right now it's blank so let's add few lines. First inside head element we add a title. 
This will show, for example, as the title in Web Browser tab pages when you open this web page. Set title to Node MCU. Also inside head element, add one meta element which will tell a browser which encoding to use to display text. The attribute is char set and in this case I use UTF-8 standard encoding. And finally we add something to body element. Just for testing add heading element age 1 and type node mcu web ui test. We finished our HTML web page and now we can open it in any browser. Locate where you saved your file and just double click it. It should open in default browser which for me is Firefox. Now you see big heading node mcu web ui test and in upper left corner you can see title in the tab header which is node mcu. Now that we know that it works we need to somehow import it to node mcu code. It needs to be string but it also contains some special characters and manually rewriting HTML code to be used as C string is painful process. That's why we use a converter at tomeco.net. Link is in the description and also on screen. First copy all HTML code from your code editor. Then navigate your browser to tomeco.net converter. Here first disable option to split into multiple lines. Next click on source text box and paste HTML code you copied from the code editor. And then simply click convert. Now you have C friendly string that you can use in Node MCU code. Simply copy the result and paste it in Arduino IDE Node MCU sketch inside get default page function and assign it to page variable. Now upload this sketch to Node MCU board and test it. It should work just fine. And this concludes first video for setting up Node MCU and basic workflow with HTML. In the source code download link in the description you will find node mcu sketch from this video. Also in archive is default page.html file from this video. But I added web ui.html file which is complete implementation of web user interface with embedded classes. I will release follow up video with details about code in web ui.html but if you are familiar with html feel free to use it.